The sea did not mean to give this secret back. In the spring of 1901, off the rocky coast of a small Greek island, sponge divers descended into waters so clear they felt unreal. Sunlight fractured into blue ribbons as they sank, lungs burning, hands searching the seabed. Then one diver froze, not from cold, but from shock. Beneath him lay bodies, bronze arms, marble faces staring upward through centuries of silence. A shipwreck, ancient, heavy with history. What they brought to the surface stunned the world. Statues, coins, amphorae, relics of a lost voyage. But among the corroded treasure was something no one understood. An unremarkable lump of greenish bronze, cracked and fused by time. It was catalogued, shelved, nearly forgotten, years past. Then a scholar noticed teeth, not the kind found in a jaw, but in metal, gears, precision cut, meshing, turning. The room fell quiet. Ancient Greece, the world of philosophers and poets, had no business producing machinery like this, or so everyone thought. As fragments were cleaned and studied, a new story emerged. This was not decoration. It was not art. It was calculation made physical, a device built to track the heavens. Sun, moon, planets, eclipses, time itself rendered in bronze. Imagine it in its prime, hands turning a side knob, gears whispering into motion, dials advancing with elegant certainty. This machine could predict celestial events years, decades into the future. An analog computer built more than 2,000 years ago, lost to the sea, then to memory. And here comes the unsettling question. If this existed, what else did we lose? History suddenly felt incomplete. The narrative we trusted of slow linear progress began to crack. The Antikythera mechanism wasn't an anomaly, it was a survivor. Proof of a technological tradition erased by time, war, decay and neglect. X-rays revealed inscriptions, instructions, the voice of its maker whispering across millennia. This wasn't magic, it was knowledge, hard won, shared, engineered. The emotional weight lands here, someone built this believing it would be used, passed on, improved. Instead it sank, and with it an entire chapter of human ingenuity slipped beneath the waves. Today we can model it, replicate it, admire it, but we cannot fully recover what was lost. The Antikythera mechanism reminds us that human brilliance is fragile. Civilizations rise, think deeply, build wonders and vanish. What survives is often accidental. And sometimes the sea decides when we're ready to remember. If this story stirred your curiosity, take a moment to like, share and subscribe and tell us in the comments what forgotten knowledge you think the world has yet to rediscover.